All right, y'all, buckle up, because this is a wild, wild video, wild topic. I'm sharing with you all the details of my experience with seed cycling after doing it for three months, and <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to watch this the whole way through. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hey, I'm Alex, I'm a digital nomad, splitting my time between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. And I love bringing you along on my adventures and showing you how to live your dream life. And let me tell you, nothing is a dream without your health. That's what I have learned. <laughs> this year has been a year of health for me and really trying to reconnect with my body. That has taken many shapes and forms and I need to share my experience with seed cycling with you all because this has been a game changer. I've been on a journey for the past six months to really take charge of my health, specifically my hormonal balance. I recently decided to come off of birth control for the first time in 15 years, which like I'm shook just saying it out loud. But yeah, that's that's where I was. I'm not really going to get into why I made that decision. I'm going to save that for a separate video because that's a whole other story. So when I finally decided with my doctors and the medical professionals that I've been working with, to come off of birth control, I started researching what that process would look like and I started getting really freaking nervous because every doctor I talked to, all the articles and videos I'd seen and read said, get ready because your body's about to go haywire basically. Like you should expect your body to go completely out of whack post birth control, especially if you've been on it for a long time. So I was really nervous and I just started researching as much as I could as to how to prepare my body for this transition and how to help it really, you know, stabilize post birth control. As part of that process, I came across a book called In the Flow by Alyssa Vitti. I've talked about it on my channel before. It's a really amazing book, it has helped me a ton to learn more about how hormones affect tons of different functions in the body. And I quickly understood that I needed to get my hormones balanced. Seed cycling seemed like the easiest, the most straightforward thing that I could do today. So I just jumped on board and I, you know, I had pretty low expectations and I just said, let's see what happens. So first, let's just clarify what is seed cycling. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional whatsoever. This is just what I've learned through my research. So seed cycling is a method of balancing your hormones. And according to Alyssa Vitti in her book, she talks about how a lot of problems that women face can be traced back to hormone imbalances. So I'm talking PCOS, I'm talking PMS, acne, uh, all kinds of things that as women, we've maybe been taught, oh, it's just like part of being a woman, you know, you just gotta get used to it. Instead, she says, no, these are hormonal imbalances and you shouldn't have to suffer. If you can get your hormones balanced, you won't experience these uncomfortable symptoms anymore. So how does that work within the body? Essentially throughout your cycle, your levels of progesterone and estrogen rise and fall depending on what phase you're in. That fluctuation can lead to imbalances in the body which cause those uncomfortable or painful symptoms. And so by eating specific foods, i.e. seeds, you can flood your body with the essential micronutrients that you need to balance out your hormones and therefore alleviate those symptoms. And what this looks like in practice is that for the first half of your cycle, so in the follicular phase and the ovulatory phase, you're eating a tablespoon of flax seeds and pumpkin seeds every day. And in the second half of your cycle, the luteal and the menstrual phase, you're eating a tablespoon of sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. So it's a really simple and straightforward method. I basically just, you know, from the day I started, decided to add a tablespoon of each of those into my meals, usually at either lunch or dinner. And that's it, you're seed cycling. All right, now let's dive into the juicy bits. First, I wanna talk about what I was experiencing prior to starting seed cycling. 
I kind of had your run-of-the-mill period symptoms. First and foremost, acne. I've struggled with acne since I was a teenager, and that was part of the reason why a doctor put me on birth control in the first place. And the birth control in and of itself didn't get rid of my acne, so I was also taking 100 milligrams of spironolactone which I have since stopped as well. But yeah, acne has always um, been an issue for me, especially around my period. I would always get at least like one or two spots on my face and then maybe also on my chest. At one point I did try to come off of spironolactone and that did not go well. I had a lot of spots, I had a lot of breakouts because I would you know, just get frustrated and pick and then have these like horrible scars. In addition to acne though, during my period or leading up to my period, I have always had really tender breasts, like so incredibly painful. Like I would literally tell my partner, don't even think about touching me, excruciatingly painful. I had cramps. Sometimes my cramps were so painful. I felt like I couldn't get out of bed. And then in the past few years, I had also started experiencing mood swings. Now that wasn't always the case, but in 2020, I switched IUDs. I went from the Mirena to the Kylina. And about a year, a year and a half later, I started experiencing really intense mood swings. Like I would have crazy period rage. I mean, I would just be furious and lose my mind over really small things. Like my partner not starting the dishwasher the night before. And so when I wake up, all the dishes are still dirty in the dishwasher. Like annoying, yes. Should I be losing my mind over it? Mm, questionable. <laughs> That was really one of the symptoms that I was like, I, I need to like figure my shit out because I need to have more control over my emotions. The other thing that Alyssa Vitti in her book talks about is your menstrual blood. And depending on what it looks like, it can tell you different things about your body. According to her, your menstrual blood should be blood, blood red, like you know, what it looks like coming out of a vial when you get your blood drawn, and it should be liquid. And she calls this one of your vital signs. It really helps you understand, you know, if your body is in balance or not. My period blood was definitely not that. <laughs> it was brown, it had clots, and these are signals that Again, there's, there's something going on in your body. This was the state of my period and my cycle prior to starting seed cycling. What were my results? Y'all, I was 100% not expecting any of this. Now I got my IUD out on June 15th of this year, but I started seed cycling one month prior because I wanted to give my body some time to adjust. So I started seed cycling mid-May and in one month, you guys, in one cycle, everything changed for me. I didn't have a single cramp. I didn't have a single breakout. And the craziest thing of all, my period blood went from brown and clotty to blood red and liquid in one month. And mind you, I was still on my IUD. I actually got my IUD out at the very end of my period. So prior to even taking out my hormonal birth control, I did a 180 in terms of symptoms during my cycle. Now this absolutely blew my mind. I was not expecting that at all. And I was still a little wary, you know, like every medical professional that I talked to said, you're gonna experience spotting after taking out your birth control. You're gonna experience, you know, cramps and bloating and have like multiple mini periods. No, I have had a regular cycle once a month completely symptom free and nothing else. Like it has truly, I'm almost speechless that this like small thing has completely changed everything for me. And if you're not bought in yet, I wanna share something with you that is really, really incredible. So after having experienced one cycle and seeing all those incredible results, I was just evangelizing this to like every anybody who could listen. And over the 4th of July weekend, I went to Seattle with some girlfriends of mine for a friend's wedding. So I was there with my girlfriends and I was telling them all about my journey. Now, one of my friends in the group has struggled with 
really irregular and painful periods since puberty. And she was super intrigued right away. Like we actually even that weekend <laughs> went to this market and got seeds so she could start seed cycling right away. And I'm gonna read you what she wrote to our group chat recently. So remember, this was 4th of July weekend when I told her. So it must have honestly been like July 1st or 2nd when we went to the market, got the seeds and she got started. She writes on July 28th. Okay, so seed cycling update. My full cycle was eight days shorter and I didn't have a single cramp or tender boobs when I got my period for the first time literally ever. It definitely works. I mean, if that doesn't show you the power of this, I don't know what will. This is one of the most beautiful gifts that I have received thus far, this knowledge. It has absolutely made me feel healthier, more in control of my body, more in tune with my body. And I don't dread, you know, this, this monthly cycle anymore, which is a really important part, I think, of connecting and appreciating your body. So I can't, can't, can't recommend this enough. If you're interested in learning more, I highly recommend picking up In The Flow. I'm gonna link the book down below in the description box. It's always best to hear it from the source. If you're interested in hearing more about my journey coming off of birth control, I have so, 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 so much to share. Oh my gosh. Please leave me comments down below. Ask me what, what it is you wanna know more about because I am an open book. Like I said, all of this knowledge has been a gift and I just wanna share it with you all. Seed cycling is a non-negotiable for me now. I eat seeds every single day. Even though I do stick to a high carb, low fat diet, seeds are non-negotiable for me and I incorporate them into almost every single meal that I eat. I even brought my seeds with me as I'm traveling because like I said, they're non-negotiable. And the good thing is that you can typically find these seeds in most you know markets around the world in my experience i always like to keep some on hand with me in case you know i'm not like immediately running out to a market the second i land in a new city it's a very effective but a very easy ritual if you found this video helpful in any way please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in following along on my adventures around the world and all of my lifestyle videos on how to live your dream life please hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week. I post new videos every single week. So until next time, bye.